Oh yeah. This game's called Lake. And it's about Is that too obvious? I think I, I think that might be it's, we're gonna go it's about a lake, is what it is, I think. Other than that, you play as a woman, and other than that, not got a scooby doo Oh, it's got a road in it, that's good. And bushes. We like the bush. Hi Willy Wick. How's it going, mate? Glad you could join us on this Sunday fun day. Hi Laura. How's it going? Gonna move the mouse out the way. I think we have a blogger chat. Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And, no, Roy. Uh, wait. Ah, well. I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow more. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait. Yeah. But, uh, but do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for Adit. Oh, okay. Right. Awesome. Um... You know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. Everything going okay. Everything is surprisingly going okay, he says, because everything seems to be working. That's bloody loud, that game, isn't it? Is it me? Or was it loud? Thanks so much for like picking 75%? me up, Mr. Coleman. Mr. Coleman? Please, just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Well, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then, get ready to roll. Okay. Yeah, normally, no, normally, no, normally with games, right? You just, I'm gonna have to do that. Normally with games, you put it down to 75% because you are obviously the 100% of the speaking volume and then 75% is generally all right. But on games like this, for whatever reason, it just doesn't bloody work. Right, so let's see what that's like. This is lake, it? it's always more beautiful than I remember. Has it even made a blind bit of fucking difference? Ah, there we go. Remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our- Does this fucking slider work or what? First stop. All right, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park, with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. Okay. I can do that. Oh, God. Right, walk around. Delivering mail, apparently. Deliver the mail. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Games are absolutely amazing, aren't they? Walk back to the Oh, God. Right, just bear with. This is what happens when you go into a game alive and blind. Uh, That one. There you go. Oh, uh, you want to slow it down, do you? You want to slow it down? You want to slow it down. There you go. Right, let's try that. It's better. 
Did it. Nothing too difficult, right? Griffin gameplay. I game think I should is. be able to face the challenge. <laughs> I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here from Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm. Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. Okay. Uh, that one. I could follow instructions. Walk to the back of the mail truck. Did it. That one. That's lighter than I thought. We'll ignore the fact that there's only one package at the back of the mail truck. Walk to the front of the house. Okay. Throw said package. Break said package. Ring doorbell. Oh, yeah, you got to do that first, don't you, as well, to see if they're in? Nope. No answer. Okay, drop package ever so gently. I'm calling it a day. There you go. Good lass. Oh, walk back to the mail truck. Hold shift to walk faster. Not sprint, but walk faster. Cool. We got it. You're we passed yet. The hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Uh, well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Bookkeeping. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in some work yourself. I was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. You working for Hermes? Ah, there's no Isn't that what like happens home. when you don't put a condom on? Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Okay, Frank. See you tomorrow. Adios. Okay. I don't think this is just the game. I think this is like the basic foundation of the game. <laughs> Chat, I give up. Yeah, you do. And then, uh, and then I think there's other story elements and, oh, God, and stuff to it. This is a nice house, this, love. We got a doggy. <gasps> we got a doggy! Or a tortoise. Okay. At least we didn't die. That's a plus, isn't it? Oh! Hi, Meredith. I just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food, and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Meredith, it's Steve. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Ah, I'll talk to you later. Good morning, Meredith. Ready for your first day? Uh, yes. That, that, Good okay. morning, Space. Frank. Not Ready eight. to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin, in case you get lost. Shit. Lost? Me? Bon voyage! Did we drive the truck? Okay. The wrong way. Uh, <laughs> kind of impressed the fucking walk button. There we go. She's not gonna go well, chat. I hope we've insured. M to open the map thing. Oh, great buggy moogoo. Oh, what? Okay, so we'll go. We're not going to go all the way around because that's just stupid. We'll go this way, then we'll drop you off, and then we'll go back that way, and then we'll go back. Right? Seems to make sense to me. So we're going out of here and then to the lefty poop. I also again pressed the wrong button because today, for whatever reason, I can't figure out that E is not W. We will... Or do we do these on the way back? Because we're going to have to come back, aren't we? Do you know what I mean? <gasps> G 
gameplay 101 this so if we go if we go and if we go at this one first and then go to them and then do these on the way back does that make more sense or what i don't know i've never been a delivery person before should we do that we're gonna do that don't look oh shit here we go right we're fine all uh right -huh. Run along in my automobile. Oh, it's the screensaver thing. Stop, 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 stop. Look both ways. There we go. We don't know. We got an indicator. No. Got to stick your hand out the window. I'm hoping that it's going to be too early in the morning that there's not going to be a lot of other cars around. This can't be all the game is, surely. I mean, it could be. In which case, I know what I'm doing when I've had a stressful day. <laughs> oh. Okay. And We've got our first... Stan's uh, diner. We've got our first Wait, delivery. Pull up. Here we go. Yeah, that'll do. Sod it. Whatever. Uh, is it a parcel? It is a parcel. Here we go. That's good parking, that chat. That's heavier than I thought. I wonder what happens if you give them the wrong parcel. Did they just tell you off? Maybe. Got your parcel. Meredith Wise? Oh, here we go. As I live and breathe. Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But my gosh. It's you, all right. Uh, that one. Wow, Maureen, long time no see. I feel so old. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. Uh, that one. But Maureen, I do have work to do. I know you're busy, huh? Little Bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? I warn you, I will not take no for an answer. Can we have it to go, please? That one. Coffee sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee. Coming right up. And one piece of blueberry pie. Oh, we're going to get in trouble correctly. for doing this. You had one almost. I can't get fired on my first day. After school at one point. Uh, that one. Uh, actually, I try to stay healthy these days. You trying to tell me my pie is a health hazard now, Miss Wise? Ashley, one blueberry pie. Oh, and Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going to take my break now. You're a real trooper. <laughs> Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Uh, that one. Maybe you should check that out. Or maybe I Honestly, should get back to work. First the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next time, I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. Okie dokie. We dodged a bullet there, didn't we? Right, so we go back into said car, then go on the upper side of the map. Upper side? Other side? Did I just... I don't know what I said. Uh, we'll go to the other section of said map. And then we'll do the, the packages, letter things on the way back. Don't crash your car. Don't crash your car. Don't crash your car. You see that? That was a 360 degree swivel turn that was, chat. That's like watching Fast and the Furious. I didn't stop then, though. So I technically broke the law then, I think. But, shh. Don't tell anyone. Also, I'm driving on the wrong side of the road like a dickhead. Also, don't tell anyone. We are driving on the wrong side of the road, just FYI. The left one is the correct one. So we're going to do those on the way back. So we're not going to do a right, we're just going to keep going. It's 
gripping gameplay, this. Oh! Especially when the music kicks in. It's got mostly positive reviews, though, on Steam, which is always a plus, isn't it? Uh, and it's very pretty. Ambrose River. It's not technically called a lake, because the name of the game is the lake in it. No? Okay. Hey, is it the car? I won't even need that map. Uh, okay. Don't get cocky yet, love. There's a there's a letter out in the middle of the book. <gasps> Hang on. Where's that letter to the right then? Can we get rid of that? Uh, that one. Oh, I didn't know there was one there. Bollocks. That one. There you go. Take me to the waypoint. Doesn't really work. That doesn't doesn't actually tell you how to get there. Never mind. I think we might have gone the wrong way. Chat, I think we might have buggered it up already. And by we, I mean me, because I'm an idiot, I'm an imbecile. Go across the bridge. And then we do a righty tighty. It looks like it's off road. Did we Let walk there? Yeah. Where was Bear Creek again? I think it might be down here, where the sign says Bear Creek, maybe. There was no sign made it up. Um, right or left. I don't know. One of them. This is looking promising. Maybe. Oh god, don't break the bridge. Oh, there you go. Oh, right. Bear oh, here we go. Creek. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Magic. This is just a letter, so there's no interaction on this one, I don't think. There's a new face. I've been said that. Um, that Fire one. site for a secluded lumberjack? <laughs> yeah. Last time I saw a human being was about six years ago. <laughs> I am here to deliver mail, and I come in peace. I'm Meredith. Thank you. I'm Robert. I hope the peace will be everlasting. Let's see what's inside. You're being sued! Oh, what the... Uh, um... That doesn't sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bull crap. Freshly baked bull crap. Okay. Uh, hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. All right, that's cold for mind your fucking business, woman. Um, okay, so that's the thing. Beep, beep, beep. Don't crash his car. Beep, beep. Vehicle reversing. I, I could be that guy. I could be that guy that does the video, the video audio. Uh, can we go that way? We can, but it's... Ooh, what are you? Ooh, what are you? Oh, is that just a sign to say woods? Fast travel. Oh. Okay. Fine. That works. Just got to take the waypoint off because that's going to do my nutting. Uh, autopilot. Okay. So maybe you can... Maybe we need to go back there at one point. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh! I did that. I did that. Uh, 300 lake. So that'll be that one then. Got it. Where's the front door? Where are we taking this? There was a door around the side, right? I think. Oh. Or do we just give it to the guy out front? I can't be stuck. It's a bloody postal delivery service game. I can't be stuck on this. Surely. Would you press E? E? No. Hi. I've got a package for you. Hi there. Possibly. I've got some mail for this address. There you go. Sure not, Frank. I'm very observant. Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, <laughs> real funny. But that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes. Your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm, uh. I'm Providence Oaks mechanic. Brilliant. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Uh, that one? Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. 
My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in P.O. than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? So basically, when I crash it, gotta take it back to her for repairs. All when, right. not if. Alright, I promise. Good! When. Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? No. It currently only receives the local station. That's fine, we're not gonna put that on because it's copyrighted. It's all together. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and no, it fix fine. it right up. I'm it's fine. working on it, I promise. We'll sit in so silence. Uh Okay. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Okay, cool. Told you it was gonna play copyrighted music. I'm turning it off. Um, this one? I don't think you can technically do this in America, right? Park on the opposite side of the road. You can do that in England, but I don't think you can. I think it's frowned upon. Or maybe illegal? I can't remember. Uh, does help if you pick up the parcel. Not pick up a penguin, but pick up the parcel. 200, that's the little teddy bear, right? Ah, I pay attention. I mean, it could be. A bottle of gin, really. Well, hello there, big cuddly guy. Hello, cat. Crazy cat lady. Maybe it's a cat teddy bear. Ring doorbell. Oh, look, Genevieve. Crazy cat woman. A new mailman. Hello there. What's your uh, name then? I think it might be pronounced male woman. Um. That one. Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course! You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. Min, maybe this is what we should start doing? No? Alright. Um. 22 years, to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieve's ago. Can I just point out, right, that oh, no cat no would sit Genevieve. like that You're ever? You're going to live no. forever. She isn't, but would have launched she, itself off by you now. You do remember me, don't you? Absolutely. You're the crazy cat lady. I mean, the cat lady. Of course, you're the cat lady, and uh, you've got more cats than ever. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? So what if I have slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? No, I'm just... <laughs> just I've just got this thing in my arms that, you know... We, we won't spoil the surprise and say it's a yes. toy bear. Here you go. Ah, thank you, dear. Looks like another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. Uh, uh, that one. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Emily, too. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. And that was an Genevieve. unneeded dig, then, to be honest. Old hag. Hey, I've scratched your eyes out by now. Correct. It's bollocks. That's what it is. It's false advertising. Okay. I'm just going to keep driving on the wrong side of the road, because, you know, sod it. Stop. Cool. Run away. Run away. Run away before someone talks to us. Okay, so I think we've done everything on, like, the main stretch of road now. It's just the left going back to the parcel. Parcel force station. Other parcel delivery companies are available. Um, and then we've got, one, we've got one more mail letter and then one more package. Uh, oh. 
over here. I remember this is the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. Maybe. I have to say, this is a beautiful looking game. It is! It's a nice, it's, it's like, um, not like realistic, but not cartoony. It's kind of like in between, isn't it? But it is nice. It's very bright and colorful. I like it. I dig it. Excuse me. Have we got a horn? We haven't got a horn. That would be rude, that, apparently. I'm, or, I'm also slightly conscious or confident that you can't park on the curb in America either, right? See, in England, we just don't give a shit. Bit wonky donkey, that in it, mate. To be honest with you, the, that one it's gotta be, I guess. I hope I do hope I've not buggered it up on my first day. It looks like a package for the general store, looks like it's got general things in it. Hi, that one. Can oh, I she help looks you? bloody happy, don't uh -oh. you? Here's today's mail. Mm, new and down. Your face looks familiar. Well, I grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago. <sighs> 22 years ago, back when they called me Nancy Sinatra instead of Nancy Reagan. So now you're back, huh? I know what it's like. Actually, this is only temporary. <sighs> That's what I said too, a long time ago. I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. I love to live in a little town like that, surrounded by trees and, and like, yeah, see, I'm, I'm a bit like 50-50 on it, to be honest with you, because it would be nice and relaxing, but then I'd get bored after a while, I think, and I can't imagine living, I couldn't imagine, really, not that I say that I couldn't, but I couldn't imagine, like, living, like, down here, say, somewhere, where your nearest shop is all the way over there, because it's, A, it's a bitch of a commute, oh, we can fast travel there now, Woo! Okay, so we can go and visit shit again after we... Right, okay. Um, but then also, yeah, if you needed something, like, real quick. You're not in the middle... You're not anywhere near civilization, are you? So, I don't... It would be... A, it would be peaceful, but B, it might be a bit weird and slightly lonely at the same time. Maybe. Oh. Just chatting balls, mate. Got a sex swing. That's good. Hello. Hi, Meredith. It's mom. How are you? How's the job? Uh, that one. Hi, mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. <laughs> I can imagine that. How is dad? Can he handle all this freedom? Uh. He went on two fishing boat trips already. And then there's the late night poker with his new buddies. Oh, I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Then the other thing that would slightly piss me off is that everyone knows your business. That's another thing as well with small towns, isn't it? Uh, we're gonna, I, th I feel like she's more of a stay home and read a book kind of girl. The Countess and the Carpenter? Really, Mom? Oh, well, let's give it a read. The Countess and the Carpenter. Chapter 1. A more disastrous entry to her new home was scarcely imaginable for Cecilia Schulten Brown. The left wheel of her carriage collapsed right as she entered through the gates of the magnificent Raubenstaben estate. She tumbled upside down, hurt her head, and worse, her hat was ruined. Suddenly, she heard the deep, strong voice of a young man. Are you all right, madam? Is that how Fifty Shades starts? 